Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. I want to make another video for you today about custom equipment. I've got a whole series going on these, and uh, this one is actually really simple. And it makes pretty good sense once I show you what it is. And this is something that was explained to me from a different diamond miner who heard it from a diamond miner that, uh, and actually a couple of diamond miners that have been doing this for a long time. And uh, this kind of goes along with uh, using a storage pen so if you haven't seen my storage pin video, it's going to be across the top of the screen. Uh, I can never remember which side it's... That, uh, okay, anyhow, it doesn't matter. You'll see a link across the top of the screen. So <laughs> what's funny is this is so simple. Um, it sounds kind of crazy, but it will actually... It's, it's worth a lot. So a simple board. And I'll have to put cannot remember the exact length of it um, it's that's not as critical um, I, I honestly cannot remember the length of it but anyhow um, I'll show you why it's important this is a fence picket that is cut down and it's a little bit narrow as far as its width um, but this is a treated the reason I use fence pickets because they're really cheap and I needed a bunch of them I showed up down here they opened the mine back up after having been closed for two months, which had never happened in the history of the mine. I knew there'd be a lot of good gravel. I had my places picked out. I had my gravel farming um, trench. Uh, I had it done before they closed, so it had sat there and produced gravel for two months with nobody being able to even be out here. So, which I'll have a link to that if you haven't seen that video. Um, I had 120 buckets with me when I showed up. I invested in a bunch of five gallon buckets. I needed a good way to store them. I knew I was going to have to rent a pen. Um, so I did a little bit more preparation. I bought higher volume screen sets. Those are part of the, the uh, custom equipment videos. So if you haven't seen that, put a link to that. Um, but yeah, anyhow, so using a board, I had another miner that knew the dimensions of one of these cages and I'll post I'll probably pin a comment to this so you can see the dimensions and everything and the lengths of these boards but I can explain it to you just as easily um, so these pins these are our storage pins down here at Crater Diamonds they're for rent you can run them by the day you can run them by the week and then you can run them by the month maybe not the week I think they quit doing it by the week doesn't matter anyhow so you can rent a pen if you're gonna come down here and you're gonna have two days and you really want to get busy with it um, you watch some of the videos about uh, getting gravel from in between the furrows. I've got a few of them. I can put them in a link. They're also in a couple of playlists I've got. So um, if you really want to get busy with it, you can get you 30 or 40 buckets, you know, for 100 bucks. And you can do what I've got done here. You go out, you hit them furrows, you clean them up, and use boards laid across the buckets to stack them. You wouldn't think that's a big deal, but I can now verify that I had, and I'll put a picture in here somewhere, I had, and it, it would have been a hundred buckets, and it stacks up to about right there, if I remember right, all the way across. And you gotta, you kind of have to do it like a puzzle, kind of like, you know, you you make your lower lower layer of buckets and you put all your boards on, and then you can stand on those as you build up, and then you build up along the edges, and you got to make sure your pin is not leaning too far and all this stuff. So there's a little bit of thought that goes into it, but I actually fit one, I fit 99 buckets in because I accidentally left the hole on the bottom because I was stepping into it, putting buckets in the back of the pin, and I didn't put one in its place. I thought I could get it once I got the next two layers up, and I couldn't shove one in there doesn't matter you can fit a hundred buckets in a cage so and the way you do that is by using boards across the top and I'll get the camera and kind of step up here and show you uh, how this works it's really a great idea and it's it's really simple but it's one of those things that if you really want to get serious with it you want to put a little bit of investment into buckets and stuff you, you know you've got two days say you come down here on a weekend like I do spend that first day you can either get you a wagon uh, I'll have a I bought a wagon that works really well uh, most of the people out here have them. I'll probably post some kind of a link or something where uh, you can pick one up. 
they're not terribly expensive and even when you're not using it here they're super handy to have around the house um, if you're using a wagon you can put six buckets in there <clears throat> it's got big enough wheels that it can cover most of the terrain out here it won't actually go over the furrows real easy but you don't want to have to fight a wagon over the furrows you carry them out of the furrows to the nearest little road they've got or something like that you can get all these buckets in here I use a yoke too um, I'll probably use the yoke more than I use the wagon but uh, you can stuff a bunch of buckets in here on the first day of good material that you've cleaned out of furrows and you can use these boards to stack them up and just go, I mean, you, the rules of pen rental say that you can't have any, anything over the top of the pen sticking out. Um, but a hundred buckets get you up here pretty high and that's just all buckets and no equipment or anything like that. So <clears throat> if you want to get in here, you really want to hit it hard, cut you some boards, buy you some buckets, plan on going out there and finding some gravel in the furrows. You may have to plan it out a little bit, you know, if you've got a weekend and you're not too far away where you've uh, we've had a good rain or something like that to really fill those furrows back in you know if you live close enough you could put up a, you could build a couple of little those little gravel farms that I made a video on produce a whole lot of good gravel store it up and then you've got all that next day to wash so I mean you could burn through I I did the 20 bucket series and I've got a few more videos coming on it um, a small family or even just one person if they're working really hard and they know what to do can burn through 20 buckets in a day so I mean if you're you know if you just want to get 20 buckets you still got to figure out how to stack them unless you just want to put them all in the pen right there if you're here for a week you spend your first maybe two days busting out a hundred buckets full of material you know that's that gives you a, a you know a day of filling buckets and then you know if you can fill a hundred buckets that'd be pretty tough but if you have people helping you fill a hundred buckets up in a day and then you've got three or four good days of running gravel um, but like I said you've got to be able to store them all and this is an easy way to do that you're talking of a pen rental of about I can't even remember what the week rate is I know a month right now is like 60 bucks so a week is going to be less than that but I mean that's fairly cheap investment if you want to get that many buckets cut you some boards store up a bunch of material you know even if you stockpile it for the next weekend however you want to do it uh, cutting these boards is just a real simple you know and it's it's I mean it's not even really what you would consider a specialized equipment but um, you need these to be able to stack up buckets like this without just having them crammed inside the other buckets let me get the camera and I'll show you exactly what I got going here all right so I've got <clears throat> you can run five buckets across and normally what you would do is you would measure these boards out such that on the end you've got a board running the other direction right so each bucket is sitting on top of boards and I bucketed these up last week and we had a really good rain and I actually put water in these when I stored them so stacking these buckets up and having boards to do it allows you to put back a lot of material for washing later all right so I hope that's good information um, if you plan on coming down here and spend any amount of time uh, more than a day or two this might be something you might be interested in like I said I'll have a comment pinned um, I'll try and put links uh, I'm working on trying to get Amazon affiliate if I can get some links set up I can link to all the stuff I'm talking about but uh, hopefully this will be something that can help you out stockpile a little bit of material for a coming weekend or something like that you plan on spending two days down here and spend the first day really getting a bunch of material gathered up spend the second day washing as fast as you can um, keep in mind that you can only carry out a five gallon bucket of washed gravel so if you really put in a lot of effort and you do a lot of washing in a day you're probably going to have to concentrate some of that down um, depending on where you get gravel and what's in it how big your centers are uh, you may only be able to run 20 buckets of material to get a washed bucket of five gallons that is less than quarter inch in size okay so if you run a hundred buckets in two or three days you've got two or three five gallon buckets of concentrates you can take home so I mean it's really kind of one of those things you really can't predict it until you run the material unless you know kind of the general area and you've been there before and stuff like that anyhow doesn't really matter a little bit of planning goes a long way in something like this so hopefully that helped a little bit uh, if you got any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. 
Um, keeping in mind that you can only bring out one hang on I gotta get this so anyhow 